Hi guys, so I'm here for my weekly reading on what is the subconscious mind of humanity calling out for this week. And of course, I'll be using the Frequency Tarot as well as the Gateway Oracle. Okay, so let's see what the subconscious mind of humanity is calling out for this week. Ooh, okay, so we already have our card. And what we got is the Catcher. Okay, so I'm going to let you look at that beautiful mandala. So it's the catcher reversed. Alrighty, so with the catcher reversed, you are currently choosing denial over being honest with yourself. You are so afraid of seeing yourself as a bad person that you have buried any aspect of yourself that could be seen as bad. But that part of you did not go away. It is reflected in your reality, left and right, but you keep blaming it on the reflection of the world. Thing, or the thing you hate and admire in others are also in you. You have just disowned them. <clears throat> so, with this card, this is really talking about shadow work. What is shadow work? It's about looking at those deep, deep aspects of self and say, you know, those aspects that, the, like the card said, you bury those parts of you that you just don't like um, or don't perceive that you like. And really, all that is, is just a part of you that hasn't felt love. That's what that is. It's a part of you that hasn't felt love. And so our job in the shadow work process is to bring love to that aspect. So let me give you an example. Um, my very good friend, Intuitive Deborah, she has been doing wonderful in her business. And a couple months back, I was not doing wonderfully in my business. I was not having a lot of clients. I was, it was very hit or miss. And she was just every single day, client, 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 client. And I was like, OMG, like what is going on? You know, and I thought, God, I should be happy for her. Like, why am I not happy for my friend who is doing wonderfully? Like, she's doing great. Why am I not happy? And... You know, what came to me was I was jealous. And I was like, what am I jealous of? She is, what? She's doing great. She's doing wonderful. What do I have to be jealous of? Well, I had to go and do a meditation. I had to really get to the core issue of that. And Mother Teresa came to me and she said, do you know what jealousy truly is? And I said, well, you're envious of someone else. She goes, no, that is not what jealousy truly is. She goes, it is a lack of self-worth. You value someone else over you. That is the true meaning of jealousy. She goes, did you think when I did my, my work that I was recognized for it, that I did it for that recognition? She goes, no, I did not. I did not do it for that recognition. I did it for the sake of doing it to help. I was like, oh, I was like, okay. And then, you know, it actually made a lot of sense. And so I said, well, why don't I feel worthy? What is it within me? Well, and then I went deep, deep down. And basically, you know, as a child, that's where she took me back to. She showed me, you know, my brother is extremely gifted at sports. I mean, he's like six foot. He's big and burly. He's a football player. My sister, she is fabulous. Such a beautiful artist. And she's also got the sharpest mind you will ever see in finance. That girl is a couponer and she's got a coupon for everything. And she, and she's on her money. Um, and then, you know, for me, my mom would always be like, well, he's my sensitive one. That's, you know, that's, that's all I ever got was he's the sensitive one. And so, you know, when I found this gift within me, I was like, oh, here it is. This is what makes me special. And in my mind, somehow, Intuitive Deborah was taking that away from me, but she wasn't. That was me not feeling worthy, okay? Being like, oh, I'm not, I'm not worth anything if I don't have this. That's not true. 
And so that's, you know, an example of shadow work and something that I write about in my book, The Intuitive's Tool Belt, a way that you can kind of delve into your shadow work. Number one, look at what you dislike in others. You know, even if, if it's something you're just like, why don't I like you? What is it about you that I don't like? Look at that and then know that that's going to be a reflection. Or what you can do is get your favorite Oracle card deck. So I will just get the Gateway Oracle and you just kind of go through it and you pick out, you know, let's just, I'm just going to randomly pick cards. So you pick out your favorite card. Okay. So embracing the future. Then you pick out your least favorite card, renewing your life. And then, you know, you just shuffle. Whatever card comes out, that's the card, you know, that you're going to have. And we got soaring into joy. So what we do is we look at the first card and we say, okay, embracing the future. What do I like about this card other than the meaning? What, what about the picture? So, you know, um, I like how big and open it is. I like the way that she's walking through that door with confidence. Um, and I just like that there's this open road, this open path that she's on. Then the renewing your life. Okay, you look at this card that you don't really like to get, you know, you look at the message. Okay, why don't I like the message? And then you look at the picture as well. You know, what in the picture don't you like? And, you know, he's just, there's all this clutter um, and he's just pushing it over the cliff to renew his life. So that could be a, you know, symbolic of just getting rid of things that you don't want to get rid of. And then soaring into joy is, you know, exactly what it says, soaring into joy. So Basically, the first card represents, the first card is where you want to be. So being able to embrace the future, be open to that. Then the second card is your shadow work. This is your shadow work card. So, you know, it's about getting rid of what no longer serves you and not being afraid that, you know, keep not holding on to that will, you know, keep you in a state of unchangeability. And then this card represents the, this last card represents the energy of where you're going to go. So after you're able to get rid of the clutter and renew your life, soaring into joy. Okay. So that's just a little example for you to use to help you with your shadow work. Okay, so now let's move to the Gateway Oracle and we're going to pull a card from there. Well, as I was getting the cards, this card actually fell out of the Frequency Tarot and it's moving beyond, but it was also reversed. And what this card is talking about is the situation that you may currently be in, this struggle, this challenge is actually something that you need to experience and go through. So it goes along with this whole shadow work card. You know, a lot of us don't want to go through the shadow work. It's not fun. It's not light and airy. You know, it's very dense. And so what this card is saying is that we have to go through it and we have to experience it. Allow yourself to experience. You don't have to stay in the energy, but you do have to experience. You have to go through it. So that way you can change and transform and gain the wisdom that you need from this experience. Okay. And now we're going to go over to the, oh, there's the gateway Oracle. And we're going to see what guidance the gateway Oracle holds for us. Ooh. Okay. So let's see <laughs> what we got here which is following your bliss. My soul sings with joy. Okay. So how can you follow your bliss? Okay. What is your bliss? What is your passion? Uh, what do you enjoy doing? That's what this card is really saying in the way of following your bliss. So let's see what questions we can ask ourselves. So what feeds my soul? How can I follow my bliss? What is blocking me from living a life with joy? So, you know, beautiful questions that you can ask yourself. And I really like that last question. What is stopping you from living your life with joy? 
And right here, these two cards are perfect to go along with this one. So what is stopping you from living your life with joy? So looking at those aspects of yourself that you have buried and going through the experience. Okay, so we can find out more about what's stopping us from truly living a life of joy. And speaking of living a life of joy, uh, for those of you who are not part of my newsletter, um, I am actually doing an event as of December 30th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on a private Facebook group um, where I'm going to be helping you to create your New Year's intentions, not your New Year's resolutions, your New Year intentions. And that's going to assist you in making 2017 the best year for you. And if you'd like to be a part of that, then, you know, just come on over to my Simply Intuitive page, which I'll post in the description below. Message me, be like, hey, I'd like to be a part of that program. And I'll be more than happy to put you into that private Facebook group because it is going to be a private Facebook group. Um, I am going to be doing the live feed on or the live on there because that way I can have as many people <clears throat> as I want instead of having to limit it to a certain number. So that way I can help as many people as possible. We're going to be talking about the old way of setting intentions. What is the difference between a want and a desire? Why does the universe not give us what we want, but will give us what we desire? What uh, the new way of setting intentions and an, or a way to help you to reword your intentions for the new year. So that is all for this week. And I send you all of my love.